Now, do I say anything definitely about the front of the Stinger? Yes? No? Mm, maybe? What's up, everybody? Hope this video finds you all well and in good spirits. Listen, guys, I'm going to try and make this very, very clear and very, very brief. Damn fly. At the same time, sorry about that. And I know you guys don't like to see much videos of me just talking about something, but this is something that's very important because it's something that it, it actually happened to me. And I think it's very, very important. It's very, very imperative that I share this, guys, to you as a reminder. Because if you guys watch this, you know, you guys are car enthusiasts or you're supporters, either way. You know, you guys drive a vehicle every day and you probably have something nice. I really hope you all do. If not, I pray and I have faith that you all will get there soon. Anyway, with that being said, just understand that the stuff that you see me post, you know, with the cars, you know, when it comes to being on the road and acting a fool and, you know, racing. Just understand that it's this is literally just for content. I'm pretty much putting myself at risk. I'm putting other people at risk by doing so. So please, guys, please don't do the stupid stuff you see on youtube or, or in, in this case what you see me do it's purely just for entertainment it's, it's it's obviously not very safe for me to do so but you know who doesn't get in the car and act stupid once in a while we all do it you know we all run stop signs we all speed we all cut through traffic you know so just understand that anytime you guys do that you're all taking a risk you're risking your own life you're risking other people's lives you know everybody has a family to go home to god willingly so your family wants to see you leave the house and they want to see you come back the same way you left. So, um, basically, this is what happened to me yesterday on the way to work. So, on the way to work, um, I kept getting tried by a Chrysler 200S. This is like the, I think, the 2015 to, I guess, whatever, the last year they stopped making them. I don't remember what year they stopped making them. I guess I'll look it up and see. But if, if you guys know about that car, that actually was a pretty, pretty powerful little, you know, little compact or midsize um, sedan from Chrysler. It had a 3.6 Pentastar V6, which made 295 horsepower. And for a car of that size, that was actually pretty stout. That was some decent amount of horsepower, especially for, you know, not being turbocharged or anything like that. So I was on like the, maybe the last mile or so before I got to work and kept pulling next to me, kept pulling next to me, just, you know, kept trying me, kept trying me. I was like... Ah, all right, all right, whatever. Put the car in sport, sport mode, downshifted a couple gears, and you know, I let him have it. Now, something I'll tell you about this car is that it does get up to speed very quickly. I'm not, I'm, okay, first of all, I'm not saying my car's fast, okay? It's, you know, it makes 300 horsepower, 311 in torque, you know, that's, that's, that's decent horsepower nowadays, but it puts the power down very smoothly and very quickly. Oh, that's my car turning off. Um, but yeah, it puts the power down very very smoothly very very quickly. So it gets up to speed quite quick for what it is. So I ended up um, Approaching the entrance to my job a lot quicker than I expected and You know the rookie mistake is that instead of me kept going straight to gather enough space to slow down I realized oh shit. I gotta turn here stand on the brakes turned and the car Obviously lost control, lost traction, and I ended up uh, on the sidewalk, climbed up. Ended up climbing over the sidewalk. You know, probably, I think at that point I probably hit the sidewalk, probably doing about 30 miles an hour. Jumped over the sidewalk, back onto the road, and in my mind, I'm like, oh my God, I just ruined my car just now. So I park up at work, I get out, I start walking around the car, and Miraculously, I see absolutely nothing. No scratches. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking I probably, you know, crushed my bumper or, you know, maybe dinged, you know, or, or scratched up, you know, one of my wheels or, you know, the undercarriage, like, you know, ripped the plastic off underneath. Like, I mean, like, I'm expecting to see something and I saw absolutely nothing. I'm talking about, I'm laying down on the ground, looking under my car, like, anything messed up, messed up, anything leaking, anything dripping, nothing. So, that right there, was my warning okay i'm a christian I'm a, I'm a huge believer in god but that was my warning from god to stop acting reckless stop getting uh, intimidated by people on the road but like i said we all do it okay but that was my lesson for me to stop messing around i pay a lot of money for this car so this was like i said a, a, a warning stop being stupid take care of my car and just relax just just drive and enjoy it simple that's all I, all I need to do all right so and I know 
you know, there may be some people that, that would say, you know what, well, maybe if you had better tires on the car or better brakes on the car, you may have you may have been able to handle that turn, whatever it is. Let's let's be honest with you, okay? The car the car has very, very good brakes, okay? It doesn't even have Brembo brakes and they grab very, very well. When you're going at a certain speed and you have, have, have a short amount of distance between something, it doesn't matter if you're going, in my case, probably close to 100 miles an hour or 60 miles an hour, whatever it is. If you do not have enough space to make, you know, that turn or, you know, get to that point or whatever, if you don't have enough space to do so, then more than likely it's your fault as a driver, okay? And I said this to somebody the other day, and you know, once again, I'm learning this for myself. Your car is only as good as the driver, all right? Yes, maybe if I have had better tires or better brakes, yeah, I may not have ended up on the sidewalk, but I may have still ended up, you know, losing control of the car because I'm going so fast and I'm slamming on the brakes. The tires are trying their best not to lock up and gain control of the car at the same time. My rookie mistake, like I said, was trying to make that turn knowing damn well I didn't have any amount of time or space to make that turn safely at the speed I was going and I should have just kept going straight you know put a moderate amount of braking and then just swing the U-turn come back up the street and then make the right turn but of course when you're when, you, when you're calling that adrenaline moment you just oh shit I gotta do this you know what I mean you, you know you, you know you don't think the same way I didn't think about speeding down that road the same way that you know I think about you know logically just okay I can't make this turn but you know let me stop and let me turn around and go back so lesson learned for myself and like I said, just 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 a, a warning to you guys. Please, please don't be reckless on the road, all right? Please don't do it, all right? Just be safe. Get to where you got to go safely. And just understand that there's a time and a place for everything. And once again, I'm teaching myself this lesson just like I'm reminding you guys. So anyway, enough about that. The car is fine. I'm fine. Nobody else got hurt. Um, you know, I didn't run over anybody's pet. I didn't um, run over any ants. I hope anything like that. But um, yeah, that was my scare of the morning. And um, now I just know not to do it ever again. And just be cautious and be safe next time. All right, moving along now. So I did get a new lip in the mail, which I'm about to show you guys now. So I did now get the correct CK style front lip. And you can see I've already put it together. Uh, there's just some bolts that go on the back of it right here. So you see, I've already put those together. You know, as I was just on the phone a little earlier, I decided to put it all together. That way it's just quick and easy to put on the car once I have the, have the camera ready like I do now. As for the previous lip, I did eventually figure out that that lip was actually for the K5. Now my next door neighbor, I don't know if you guys maybe seen it like in the corner of the camera or whatever, my next door neighbor has a wolf gray k5 gt line same year as mine and i just happened to see another one of, of her car driving down a road i mean so like a week or so ago with that same lip that i had that was supposed to be for my car and it fit perfectly so i did i did i did get get back um i'm sorry i did hear back from the seller on ebay uh they reimbursed me some of the money they reimbursed all of it because obviously it was past the return period so they just did it as like a little courtesy and i decided to to bless my name i was like hey look this lip fits your car i obviously made my mistake i'll take the l you know we're neighbors you always look out for each other so here you go i'm gonna bless you so i gave them the lip they were very happy for it so hopefully next time i see them they'll have the lip on the car they don't live here anymore now but you know their family lives here so they do come and visit and whatnot so hopefully they will enjoy that lip and it'll fit perfect on their car because I've already seen another one. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and pull the car up in here in the middle. I'm gonna jack it up a little bit so we can get underneath. And let's get to uh, installing the correct CK style lip for my 2022 Kia Stinger. All right, y'all, so I got the car in the air. I got jack stands on both sides. So we're gonna do the same process I did with the first lip I attempted to put on as soon as I find the tape again. A few moments later. Okay, it would appear I have misplaced my roll of 3M tape. And uh, I don't wanna waste any more time. I mean, I did go to my neighbor's and he had a little <laughs> little piece of it left, so I could probably maybe put that in the middle just for, just for guidance maybe. Yeah, I highly doubt this little piece is gonna get too much of anything, but we'll give it a shot. I really have no idea where I put the, uh, I had a whole roll of it, like, you know, you guys saw it, like, I had a whole roll of that tape. I don't know what the hell I did with it. It's not on the shelf, nowhere, it's not. 
I don't know where the hell I put it at, man. And like I said, I'm not gonna waste any more time, so we're gonna just we're gonna just wing it today. Okay, the tape is definitely not working, but I just realized something. I gotta take off these to put in those big holes right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, I gotta take these clips off right here. So this actually, I, I, you know what? I mean, I even need the tape. So let's do this real quick. All right, we are making some progress. So far, we're looking good. Just changing out the clips. So yeah, you're pretty much just taking the clips, I'll hold on the bumper and just replacing it. You know, well, not replacing it. You're just putting on those same clips with the lip is all you're doing. All right, yo, we are done, partially. I gotta put the rest of the screws in there, but yeah, that looks 10 times better than the other lip I tried to install. That looks way better. All right, so I counted about 15 screws right here in my hand. So all those screws are gonna go on the bottom and that's pretty much gonna keep it in place besides the clips. But uh, once we once we get all those screws, screws in there, the front lip, it's complete install. And we are complete. And that looks a million times better. It looks so good. It's back on the ground. Jack stands are off. Now I'm about to pull it outside. I mean, there's really not much daylight. Well, there's no daylight left at this point, but at least I'll pull it outside and show you guys what else I changed on the front end. Y'all ready? All right, so now I got the car outside. Do y'all see the difference yet? Look at the ground. Huh? Y'all don't see it? Yes, sir. CK71's installed, baby. These look so friggin' good, and they are super bright, yo. These look great. It de Like, the, the front lip definitely complimented them real good. I mean, y'all can't really see how good I see right now because it's dark, but I'll definitely take some pictures of it. But basically how these uh, CK CK71's CK work, um, I actually thought it was supposed to wire to the daytime running light, but it doesn't. You know, it only works to the for the headlights so yeah they pretty much work just like a fallway see how the, how the headlights are on now so parking lights you know remain just the parking lights only just a little four rise and the reflector on the side and then when the headlights are on you will have i'll start that way full brightness so i'm gonna hit the left signal now so as you hit so as your signal it's basically like a switchback fog light, which is pretty dope. And these, um, and these are stupid bright. So I'm really, really happy with that. I did get that installed today. Shout out to Speed Zone Performance. They took care of that for me because I'm really not trying to do anything to this car when it comes to wiring and things like that. I'd rather leave it to the professionals and let them do it properly first time, which they always get me right. So I told you guys this before. If you guys are in Central Florida, go see Speed Zone Performance in Kissimmee. Go see them in Orlando. I'll put their the website and their IG and their phone numbers and everything like that in the description. Go check them out. Go get some work done. Go get some awesome parts, whatever you need. Any kind of car, car, truck, SUV, off-road. They got it. And they did an awesome job on this. So thanks a lot, guys. This looks amazing. I love it. I'm I'm tempted to go test them out now to see how, how to see, if it, see if it improves my visibility at nighttime. And before I close this video real quick, I also did get some different side skirts. I did get some some full side skirt splitters, uh, which I gotta put together. But I'll save that for another video. It's obviously dark now, so I can't really show you much. There's the old ones. I'm not sure what I'll do with these yet. I may I don't know. I may sell them. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and uh, share with your friends or family. Great, would appreciate all of you. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell icon to be notified every time I drop some heat. There's a front end once again, looking super aggressive. I'll uh, put some pictures online for you so you guys can see it. Follow me on Instagram. Instagram's right here at the bottom of the screen. And uh, next video, more than likely gonna be putting on those, uh, those side skirt splitters. Until then, like I said, let's begin this video. Drive safely, diligently. Get home to your family safely, please. Lesson to myself, all right? Take it easy.